There's a special camp for teens in Pittsburgh presented by Luminary. There are actually four camps, but today we're talking about one in particular called Camp Delicious. And it sounds delicious. <laughs> camp Director Roger Levine is here with one of the sous chefs, Taylor, right? Yep. Yes. To give us a taste of Camp Delicious. Welcome to both of you. Thank you so Thank much you for so having much. us. And tell us about Luminari first. It's Lumin four different camps, right? There's four different camps. It's Luminari was founded by Hilda Fu, and it's um, 10 years old. And the first three camps that I'll bring up, there's uh, Speak and Tell, which kind of works on, on public appearance, on, on personal appearances. Mm -hmm. There's I Want to Be an Ambassador that takes place in Pittsburgh and Washington, D.C. on diplomacy. And there's the last one on teenage fiction writing. Oh, but right. the one that we're focused on, the fourth one, is Camp Delicious, which is going to be um, held at the Ellis School in Shadyside July 8th through the 12th of this year. And this so these summer. are day camps? You go it's a day camp from 9 until 3. That's fantastic. Absolutely. And so what are we making today? Is it something that the kids would make? We are making this on day one. We kind of, the idea of Camp Delicious is to introduce the, the, the campers, who are primarily teenagers, um, to, to food and different food cuisines. Mm -hmm. um, being of Jewish heritage, this was a recipe that my mother, Dottie Levine, would make every year. Um, for us, it's called a, a, a kugel. Or a, or a kugel. kugel. I'm trying saying. to learn how to say it. <laughs> I'm trying to learn how to say it. Uh -huh. But basically, it's a noodle pudding, and it's really easy. And it's really easy to make. And we'll just show you how to assemble it. Okay. Basically, okay. and when I was making up the recipe, I wanted to make it so it's really accessible. One of the problems that I see with recipes, it's like, you need two-thirds of this container, and half of the and then you have all this wasted food mm -hmm. so one of the things that we like to talk about with the students as well is sustainability and not wasting food mm -hmm. so this is a pound of cottage cheese two cups of sour cream which is basically that whole container the whole container like, okay. you don't have to measure this was one <laughs> I bag like this. this is easy right. this i is could easy. even do this chef <laughs> this is um half a cup of sugar oh that's interesting and taylor we took we six, six eggs, eggs and we'd like to beat them ahead of time. Okay. And then we have here this um, half a stick of melted butter. Butter makes everything better. It absolutely, does. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, traditionally, this dish is made with raisins. Um, in our family, we like the sweetness, so we added pineapple, crushed pineapple instead. Oh, oh how fun. So, pineapple. Good, good. Because <laughs> there are friends of mine who. Don't, won't eat this because it's not the traditional way. I see. Uh, we're your new friends. All right, thank you. <laughs> and then, Taylor, if you want to add the seasoning. Of course. Throw a little bit of clove. Put some clove in there. Mm -hmm. Just some a little a sprinkle. Just a look. Yep, and then uh, cinnamon. cinnamon. She likes cinnamon. I really like cinnamon. <laughs> I do, too. Good job, Taylor. So basically, you just mix this together. And this whole prep, the water, the noodles, the, the uh, wide egg noodles, that we cook just for four minutes, um, just to kind of, because they're still going to cook when they're in the oven. So this is the mixture. It's a little bit darker because of all the cinnamon. <laughs> Thanks, but, Taylor. <laughs> but again, that's what's great about cooking, and that's what we want the students to learn as well. There's 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 recipes that to follow, but there's also to make it your own. Some and creativity there. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, chef, I know we have some great chefs. In Pittsburgh. So, do you ever have any of them come in? Do you ever have like a? As a matter of fact, we're really. In? Oh, absolutely. We're really excited this year. Um, on Thursday, we're going to have what we're referring to as Dumpling Day, and we have uh, Chris Fenimore from WQED That's coming in, great. Yeah. Uh, making dumplings. We have uh, Jamilka Borges, who um, was recently nom yesterday was nominated for uh, by the James Beard Society for one of the nominated for best chef in the mid-Atlantic region. We've had her on the show before. She's an amazing person. I love mm -hmm. her to death. And, and she's from Puerto Rico, so she's going to be making empanadas. This is all in one day. So, and then That's Michael great. Chen from uh, Everyday Noodles is going to be, um, set, I don't know if he's going to be doing it or bringing one of his chefs, who, he brings his chefs in from Taiwan um, to show us how to make uh, Asian dumplings as well. Mm. So there's going to be some good, Can some good eating. Ab absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And the kids don't have to be aspiring chefs. They just have no. to have an interest in food, which absolutely. we all have an interest Every in food. So. Well, and, and one thing that we learned, like, with, in Camp Delicious is based on, and I think this is one of the reasons that they wanted me to be in, involved with it, which I was very flattered that they asked me, was that they, that uh, every culture embraces food. Food is nurturing. Food brings family together, brings yeah. community together. And that's what we want the campers to learn. And we want them to learn about sustainability. Mm -hmm. um, we're working with Chatham University. One of the days we're going to go out to Eden Hall to their farm out there and they're going to talk about sustainability and farm to table. And so we're kind of incorporating the community into the camp as well. 
to really give the students the best. So this has yeah. to bake for a little this while. This has to bake. Have you have a finished finish and through the, I've always wanted to do this because I've always seen it on TV shows my whole life. And here we have the finished product. <laughs> You've been slaving away here in the kitchen. You're ready to pull it out of the oven. This is the kugel when it's done. Wow. It only takes like 35 to 40 minutes to cook. And, and we, we can have, try this? Absolutely. Right, okay. Now, like a lasagna, if you've ever made lasagna, the first portion is horrible to get out. So if you can hand me a knife, Dave. Okay, yeah, there you go. All right, well, while you're signing this up, we should probably, or uh, signing this up, <laughs> serving this up, we should tell people how to sign up. <laughs> yeah, you can sign up your teens for Luminaries <laughs> Camp Delicious for the week of July 8th through the 12th and find out about other Luminary Thank programs you. online. And we have all that posted for you. We have the link at kdka.com. And now it is time. You're going to give it a big test. This. Okay, good. Remember, it's my mother's oh, recipe. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. So I good. love the Thank pineapple. You.